Hello and welcome back to another computer sluggish tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to set up a PlayStation 3 controller on Windows 10. So first you need to head on over to the link that's in the description below. And then you need to paste it into your um, web browser or just click on the link. And you should hopefully start downloading some drivers for your PlayStation 3 controller. So we're now going to right click on the bottom left hand corner as well and we're going to go to device, um, actually no we want to go to control panel and from here we want to go to, I'll tell you what forget about that, um, click on your start menu or search window sorry and type in printer, um, printer Devices and printers, there we go. That's what we want. So here, as you can see, this is all the devices and printers that are connected to your computer. So as you can see, I've got my mouse, my keyboard, my microphone that I'm talking on right now, and my two monitors, and they're just your default printers. So now we're going to plug in our PlayStation 3 controller. And once you've plugged it in, you should have all four lights on your PlayStation 3 controller flashing. Okay, so at the very top of your controller, one, two, three, and four will all be flashing. So we're now going to go back to our web browser and we're going to open up that folder that we just downloaded. And we need to extract those files to our desktop so I'm just going to drag and drop onto my desktop now so as you can see it's just extracted it to my desktop so you now need to open up that folder and you need to go to bin and it's this um, .exe here it's the scpdriver.exe we're going to right click that and we're going to go run as administrator and once you're on this screen, you now need to make sure Bluetooth drivers selected, configure services selected, and we need to select force install. So once you've done that, you now need to hit install. And we're going to go always trust because we're installing third party drivers to Windows that it doesn't recognize. So it's just flagged us a little warning. So as you can see, that's installed that was successful so we can now hit exit and if we go back to our printers and devices in control panel as you can see we now have a playstation 3 controller option there so i hope this tutorial helped if it did hit that like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials